Yesterday we saw a patch that added new world events and stopped serpents escaping, but today we got dropped a huge amount of information on Hearth and Home, and we're going to be covering it all in depth. So if you enjoy the content and want to keep up to date with my Valheim news and guides, be sure to like and subscribe. The team announced today that they're aware of how long it's taken for the first update to be released and talked about this in detail, mentioning that due to the success of the game that they've been prioritizing and trying to work through all the bugs that have risen from the millions of people who have been playing the game. This meant that they weren't able to get serious with all the Hearth and Home content with the full team until May, which is why it's taken so long for them to release the update. And they've even clarified that due to this, they are pushing the update launch back until the third quarter of this year, which means Hearth and Home should, with a little bit of luck, be arriving between July and September this year. So they've decided to pull the roadmap and concentrate on only two major updates this year, Hearth and Home followed by the Mistlands update, which I'm really looking forward to. But I think it's good that they've taken the time to inform us of these changes and that they've prioritized these two big updates for this year. Considering this news, they have treated us to some more teaser images, highlighting some of the new additions for Hearth and Home. The first image they show off is these two huts, and in this picture we can see a few new build pieces. The obvious one, which you can spot straight away, is the dark wood roofs and window hatches. Now I think the hatches look great, and I'm intrigued with these dark wood tiles. Does this mean that we're going to be receiving a new type of wood to cut down, or can we get this from one of the unchoppable trees currently in game? possibly from the mistlands or the swamps, or do we need to use a crafting table to refine this into dark wood? This isn't the only thing, of course, that we can see in the picture, though. If we look a little closer, we can see through the window in the, uh, the, the thatch that we can see the butcher's table in the window, and more interestingly, for me at least, are the round logs that we can see here. Notice how the logs seem to be cut into smaller pieces. Could this suggest that we're now able to place round logs or fine wood stacks down similar to what we can with normal logs, or is this something different? Is this firewood? Scrolling down a little bit, we've also got another picture of the inside of the right-hand hut, and this shows off some nice new additions. We've already glimpsed a look at the butcher's table, but you can also see a spice rack along with pots and pans, which I presume will be a new crafting table upgrade. Perhaps the same goes for the spice rack, uh, but I would much rather have to farm or forage these new herbs uh, for this particular item rather than just be able to build it. Speaking of which, if we look closer, uh, it looks like we have dandelions, thistles, mushrooms um, on three of these six strings. What do you think are on the other three lines? I'm not quite sure, so do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if we go off of the theory that these are new crafting table upgrades, the saucepan shelf looks like it's a late game upgrade, judging by the black metal pan we can see on the right. Looking back at the butcher's table, I'm also tempted to say that this allows us to create some new cuts of meat, seeing as they do hint in the next section with new foods that include various wolf meats. Now before we move on to the next thing, I want to talk about this little written article associated with this image. In addition to the new stations, they've also added a new food system that places more importance on boosting health and stamina. They want to make food choices more interesting based on our playstyle. So if you want to play tanky, eat meat and something that will boost your health regeneration. Or for example, if you want to dodge easily and quickly dish out damage, it's going to be focusing things on like um, building stamina regeneration and, and stamina boosting foods. Sure, we can do this now, but with more than 10 new recipes, we can define our style much more, especially when we're playing with friends. And speaking of new foods, let's have a look as to what's on offer. 
You'll already notice on this table that some of these recipes are already in game. Uh, but just look at the attention to detail here when we have a look at the newer recipes. So have a look at the kebabs or what looks like jerky here, the ice cream and the chocolate um, or chocolate, maybe, uh, smoothie. All of these uh, we'll be able to craft and consume according to our playstyle. And of course, with all these new foods, where would we be without new vegetables to cook? We knew that we were going to see a focus on plants and food, but I'm happy to see onions are also there and pink flowers as well, which we can potentially use for decorating in Valheim. Speaking of which, if you want a guide on how to do internal designing uh, better in Valheim, then do check out my guide. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner of the video now. Also, what other vegetables or plants would you like to see added to the game? Finishing off with this post, they mentioned that they're inspired by the community, which means that the roadmap and whatever updates we receive will be fluid. They also mentioned that they want to be transparent about what they're working on, but equally don't want to spoil it for ourselves, which is why they have given us sneak uh, teasers, but not shown us or talked about it too much as uh, it's gone through the developing process. And this isn't everything that they have planned for Hearth and Home. There's still a lot more that's been teased previously, and also there are things being kept back for us. And I really cannot wait to get my hands on this. Also, the last word on this post uh, is that tomorrow they will be heading over to the Valheim subreddit for an Ask Me Anything. So if you do have any questions, pop them in the subreddit ready for tomorrow. And before we talk about the patch notes from yesterday, I just wanted to say if you find this content helpful and enjoy it, please do drop a thumbs up. It really does help me out and get pushed out to other people like you who are hungry for this Valheim information. But moving on, what happened in the recent patch yesterday? Well, there were a few bugs and minor issues that were resolved, and they've also added two new events. We have got the you are being hunted and also the horde is attacking, referring to a wolves event and a fueling army event. Now along with this we can also now block the trolls ground slam and there's been a resource respawn timer fix so that allows berries and flint to correctly respawn. Um, before I was waiting around for ages trying to get flint, it just didn't come back, it was such an early game struggle for me. Uh, so that's going to be really useful for myself. And another great fix is for you serpent meat hunters. The serpent will now no longer flee when they're low on health. So some nice little additions to help with the playability of the game until the next update. But that's everything we have for today. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. But until next time, I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of our amazing supporters. Most notably, our Solar Eclipse Patrons, the Calamity and Cerebral Tag, as well as our Lunar Eclipse Patrons, Chris McCabe and Lord of July, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, Jimmy Rogers. Anyway guys, until next time, as always, ciao for now.